The scripture already prophesied of these things. It is the gospel. There is only one gospel. And the Bible says, you know, if someone come and teach another gospel, let them be accursed. And these people that think that there's going to be another gospel in the future and people are going to be saved by works in the future, hey, let them be accursed. They say, oh, but we're not preaching that right now. You're, but you're preaching that there's another gospel. And Galatians 1 is very clear about anyone that's going to preach any other gospel unto you. There aren't any other gospels. There is one. Every other gospel is a false gospel if it's not the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. If it's not grace by faith in Christ Christ. That's it. That's the only gospel that there is. The only difference with the Old Testament is that people didn't know the name of Jesus. But they knew there was a Messiah. They knew there was a Christ. That's what they were trusting, and they're trusting in the Lord. But let's keep going here, because I want to I wanna really dig into the resurrection, because that's what he's, he's talking about here in verse 4. He says that he was buried and that he rose again the third day, according to scriptures. That's part of the gospel. So when we go out and preach the gospel to people, yes, we, we, we preach and let people understand that they're sinners, that they need a savior, but it's important and don't gloss over this because there's a lot of things that we emphasize when we talk to people. And one of the things I like to emphasize is the fact that salvation is eternal. It's eternal life. And since the Bible says that it's everlasting, it's eternal, it lasts forever. So the moment you receive that free gift from the Lord, you have that forever. And if it doesn't last forever, then God's a liar. Because the Bible says, in hope of eternal life, which God that cannot lie promised before the world began. That's a promise from God. God doesn't break his promises. He's not a man like you or me. You can't just be like, well, I don't know. Is God going to keep that promise? Of course he's going to keep that promise. He's God. He has to. And he says that it's eternal. He says that that's forever. So yeah, I like to stress that because a lot of people don't understand that. A lot of people have heard different things from the Bible, but they think that, well, I don't know if I, you know, if I do something really bad, though, I, I don't think I'm going to go to heaven. And that's because they're trusting in themselves. They're trusting in their works. They're not trusting in what Jesus Christ had, had already done for them. So it's, it's important to emphasize those things. I'm not saying it's, it's not important. Of course it's important. That's one of those aspects that so many people get confused on. But we cannot be negligent in when we preach the gospel to people, that we actually preach the gospel unto them. Yeah. In your zeal to, to explain other important aspects of salvation, don't ever forget what you're preaching is Jesus Christ, yes, he bare the sins of the whole world when he was on the cross. Yes, he died and shed his blood to pay for your sins. But don't ever skip over the fact that he rose again from the dead. That we serve a living Savior. That he's not just some dead Savior. He's alive. I love those memes that you see sometimes on, on social media, on Facebook or whatever, where they go through and they'll show like, you know, Buddha's dead and Muhammad's dead, you know, and, and they're all just men or whatever in these other religions. But you know what? The tomb of Jesus Christ is empty. The grave of Muhammad, yeah, that's still there wherever that is. You know, his, his body, his flesh, his bones, you know, however decayed they are, that's still there in the grave. He didn't come back from the dead. All of those, all of those so-called prophets, they're all dead. Jesus Christ rose again from the dead. Jesus Christ was resurrected. His tomb's empty. 